The golf competition is halfway through with only two more days until a champion is named. It was a windy day on the links today, making for a more challenging game of golf. The athletes played 18 holes with the first group of men starting at 7 a.m. and finishing just before noon. The winds are blowing in different directions, so couldn't hit much fairways and yeah. Makes it kind of tough? Yeah. It's really tough. After making his final putt into the hole, Papua New Guinea's Casey Coma tracked a score of 78 and has a cumulative score of 158. He says he's been playing the sport for nine years and is looking forward to coming back out tomorrow and competing. It's good. It's good to go and have a time out first and just getting ready to come back tomorrow. Despite the strong winds, Guam's Louis Sunga feels better about his game this morning, after he scored a 77 yesterday. According to the results, Sunga is ranked seventh with a total cumulative score of 150. I played a little bit better today. Um, my ball striking was a little better. My putting was a little bit better. Uh, the wind was just still a little bit strong, but um, all in all, I was happy with today. I shot 73, went over today, so I'm happy about that. Yeah. While other visiting athletes are struggling with the heat, that isn't the case for Sunga. I'm used to the heat and the humidity. It's just the wind. It's such an open golf course, so uh, and the greens are a little tricky, so I was able to manage today. Um, I think the rest of the team are doing well. Sunga refers to himself as a veteran, having played the game for over 20 years. How do you feel being here at the Pacific Mini Games? Do you oh, compete? especially here in Saipan, I really wanted to come. Every time I come here in Saipan, the the, the people are really really gracious and, and the hosp uh, hospitable. So I love coming to Saipan. So I was really wanted to uh, make the games over here. So I'm happy to be out here. And we're about halfway through the competition now. Um, where's your head at? Um, well, looks like we're. I'm hoping that the other the rest of the team does well. If it does well, then um, it's just lights out from here on in try and win the gold for Guam. New Caledonia agrees. The winds were tough playing conditions. It's not, not easy. And, uh, so many difficult with the wind. But uh, I'm playing no bad today. Play one over. He's, well, he's not good, but he's not bad. Gill is currently in first place, scoring a 73, which is one above par, and a 70 yesterday, which is two below par, making for a total cumulative score of 143. The competition continues tomorrow, June 23rd at 7 a.m. The athletes will play another 18 holes, and by the end of the day, we will know who is in the finals. Reporting for KSPN2 News, I'm Adriana Cotero.